Okay, okay, I came back with another video right after. <clears throat> because one thing I'm, another thing I'm grateful for, hey my loves, hey my loves. This just a quick message. Keep your childlike wonder. If you're tuned in and you are vibrationally, energetically, intuitively guided to my channel, and this is especially the first video you're hearing or you clicked in, then you have an amazing childlike wonder. Don't lose it. Don't let no one dim it because that's what your imagination is tied to. And your imagination is also tied to God, the source. Think about children and their imaginations, right? Your imagination is your ticket out of the matrix your dreams keep dreaming and keep striving for them dreams no matter how far off they feel listen I got dreams too and you see where I'm residing at the moment and it's okay though because I'm being prepared the the, the, the important parts of me are being pre uh, prepared and repaired actually <laughs> healing is about healing your heart my heart is being healed y'all seen my heart was broken broken heartedness is, is a true thing when your heart is broken it makes it easy for the demons to come in it really does because you're not thinking clearly and you're in sorrow. And if you don't have the tools and recognize that at that time, if you're not spiritually strong and you're really consciously not aware, you become susceptible to invasion. We all go through it. Depression is, is demonic. It really is. Long lasting depression is demonic. I don't think depression is normal. I don't believe it is. I know they try to normalize it, but I don't believe it's normal. Now, do we get sad? Yes, that's the effects of being a human. Because we experience things and we witness things. But why do we feel sad about things that happened 10 years ago? It's because it's being perpetuated. Why? To keep us stuck in a loop. That's why they say you have to forgive. Because if you don't forgive, you're stuck in a loop. You're stuck into what they did and what they said and how they behaved and how they acted. And you don't want to be in that space. Not at all. I used to be stuck in that space. I'm not stuck in that space no more. And when those thoughts try to come, I recognize them for what they are and what they are not mine because I don't need them anymore. I don't need those thoughts because I understand and understand that why those things happen. So when those thoughts come, because I know my own self now and I know what I know and I know what I feel and I know what I've learned and those thoughts come, they don't last long because I know they are not mine. That's somebody else's old program is still trying to interfere in my progress. And I get it because it only happens during certain times. And I've gathered that by sitting still and, and, and watching myself, not the people around me. I know they be thinking I'm watching them, but really I'm not. I'm watching myself and how I respond and how I feel. And I'm listening to myself. They're just the aftermath of me watching myself. And that's always how it's been. That's why 
I feel like I was protected in that way because even through the black magic, I was so focused on what I was feeling. I was still doing and ripping and running and doing it, you know, enjoying life and going through experiences. And then when black magic really hit, it was like I was really paying attention to myself. And why am I feeling this way? And I wrote about it like what's going on with me? There's something going on. And I read portions of my journal where I felt like I was dying. And I wrote that like I feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm going to die. I wrote that. And when I wrote that, that made me sad because that's how they wanted me to feel. I wrote that, and it shocked me that I wrote that because I don't remember writing that. And then I had to close that book because I wasn't ready to unpack that. <laughs> I really wasn't. I was not. And I'm okay with that because I've unpacked a lot. And the fact that I'm telling you about it means that I'm, I'm probably going to unpack it soon. Because I want to recognize what I was going through and and validate it. And by me validating it and, and, and feeling what I felt then and validating knowing that that's what was going on. That's me validating my own feelings. But in order to validate them, I have to feel them myself. And I wasn't ready to feel them when I first came about that because I wasn't looking for that plus... I was in the process of organizing. And so if I went down that road, I would have got stuck down that road. And I wanted to complete doing what I was doing. And I still hadn't complete doing what I was doing. <laughs> Which I will begin to. Yeah, so. Give yourself compassion and don't lose your childlike wonder, okay? Namaste. Ashe. Masatov.